Maria. Tria Maria. Tria Maria. And this is our this is our last day here, and we are going to go for a beach walk. I forgot to tell you, this is um, I use father-in-law Stella's father, and he's he came over to say hello and good morning for us. Jeannie and I are going for a beach walk today, and we're gonna head this way, and we'll take you along. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay. Help yourself. Okay. <laughs> He's a rich man. Papa's, Papa said, as we were leaving, Papa said, help yourself to the walk. And I'm thinking, help yourself. I own, uh, help yourself. I own all the land here. <laughs> they have a lot of land, a real lot of beachfront property. I love Kay Island. I do. This beach is just beautiful. If you like isolated, long beaches. All to ourselves. This might very well be for you. It is for us. The water's beautiful. And so is this sand. Mm-hmm. Did you mention to our viewers that it's like flour? It is. It's very unique. The sand is like flour. We're gonna walk down to where those boats are and see how much further you can go after that. I think the total walk, uh, according to Papa, was about two and a half kilometers. Is that what he said? Yeah, walkable. Right. Because the sand is so soft, flowery soft, look how deep your foot sinks into the ground as you're walking. There's Cheney's footprints right now really really deep yeah I mean it's incredible yeah you'd have to walk lightly that's how soft and this sand mind you is wet wet flower Look at John, it's like he's walking after a snowstorm in the deep packed snow. I remember when Cyrus used to walk through the snow like that. How was that? <laughs> like you said, walking through a snowstorm. You can see where they built a seawall to keep the erosion of the beach down to a minimal, at least. This is definitely a fishing village. This guy called himself uh, Tuna. That's about the size of the tunas we used to catch marlin in Panama. <laughs> Have to run those videos when we get back to the States. Hello.
Tuna? Oh yeah, they're just not bloomed out. Yo, here, here's an example. It's almost like, like Jeannie said, it's almost like a mimosa. Right they're there. They're beautiful. Yeah. And look at the size of this tray. Wait till oh, it this, all blooms out. It's going to be magnificent. Nobody. No one. Not even a local. <laughs> Not even locals besides those fishermen. They use the plastic bottles to hold up their nets. I would venture to guess that we may be the only tourists on this island. Yeah, I haven't seen a single white person. Nope. So if you want an island that has no tourists and absolutely beautiful beaches, you got it. This might very well be for you. It is for us. You want to do paddle boats? I think we hit a bicycle. It's actually a pedal boat. You got to check this out. This I've never seen before. Okay. You pedal and it actually turns this propeller and there's your rudder. How ingenious. That one actually is not hooked up, but this one is. You can see how they attach it. Really, really cool. <laughs> Someone had their thinking cap on when they made these. Yeah, these are built for two. <laughs> and then, there's only one peddler. and over here you have your hand, your uh, hand cranks. No, I, I, oh yeah. Those are for kids. Uh huh. I'm a kid. That is so cool. I'd give that a try. And we're going to probably walk down to this next point. The water starts to come right up to the jungle. So that's probably where we're going to turn around. And that's about this two and a half kilometers. get closer to where we're staying and here we are back at Three Maria 
and I see Hostina right there. Hello. Hello. Very nice walk. Oh. We walked down to the end. Uh huh. So Rajon and Leah have returned with the kids for the day, and Hi. and Here. they they brought. They brought. Oh, that's my sister in law. Yes! Come on over! Come on over! And Leah has cooked oh, yeah. a traditional lunch. Yes. That yeah, she's going to explain. It is called Enbao. Enbao. Enbao? Enbao. It is from sweet potato. Where's my phone? Sweet potato. I was going to look it up. To singkong. In Indonesia, we say singkong. Right. Kaspi. In Maluku, we say Maluku. Uh, um, Kaspi. Taro. Uh, they made this. And you can eat, use hot tea or kalbi. Or you can also eat with the peanuts. Peanuts. Very nice. They you look like try? little hearts. Yeah. I think they it made it on like a, hearts. They made it on like on um on a um, the, waffle the, iron. Ah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so this. Um, uh, where's your heart? Um, mm -hmm. Okay, if let me sing. Mm -hmm. Talas. Talas, yeah. Okay. Mm. So it's the same. It's yeah. taro. Okay. And that's what this is made out of taro. Oh, yeah, this is dari singkong, this is dari keladi. And you, you dip them in coffee? Yeah. Cassava. Oh. Cassava. Cassava. Mm. So tell us about is. this dish huh? that you made. Opera I am. Opera I am. Chicken. And it is like a yellow curry but thinner, served mm, with thinner. rice. Yeah. And it's that's what we're warm. having for lunch this yeah. afternoon. Yum. We need more plates. Mm -hmm. Sister-in-law's coming over. Okay, let me cut it here and get some plates. <laughs> so we are eating porto ayam. Opor Opor. Opor ayam that Leah made. And Jeannie, why don't you take a bite and tell us what you think. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Yellow curry? It's similar to it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm. I'll try a bite. Mm. Very tasty. Wow. It is so tender and delicious. Thank you. Thank you. You are a master of the local culinary. Delicious. Mm, thank you. It's mm -hmm. family. This is Leah's mother and father yes. who have come to join us. And her brother-in-law, Stuart. Yeah. Yes. Right? And her younger or older sister? No, nope. this is my sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Okay. My younger brother's wife. Right. Nina. Nina. Yes. And we are all enjoying this delicious lunch. Thank you very much. Thank you <laughs> for bringing it. Thank you. Thank you. Selamat makan. Yeah. And here's all the kids having fun. Jeannie gave them her raft as a going away present. And they are having a wonderful time. You can't find them here. Very nice. Ray John. has brought coconut from his home to share with us, and it is really, really sweet coconut water. And but the big bonus is the meat inside is like jelly. Yeah. It's like 
it's like yeah. coconut I've never it's had like, in my life. Yeah. Like no no teak meat. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's more smooth. Yes. He's a professional with that machete. He's got all his fingers, I'm telling you right now. He's the man! Yes. And there's the opening. Thank you. You're welcome. I am going to find a straw. You need straw? No. You, you just drink right out. Yeah. Okay. This is the best way to enjoy the coconut. Okay. You're going to need to hold it. Okay. See? Now, John. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing it the Indonesian way. Yes. It is so sweet. You have never, ever had coconut juice, coconut water like this. It is so good. And let me tell you, after you're done drinking this, the jelly that's inside is incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I've finished my coconut water and now Rajan is going to open it and I'm going to have the jelly that's inside. Oh, Thank you. You need spoon. I have spoon. Okay. Right here. Jeannie. No, thank hold you. this. I can't oh. hold them. I hold them in the baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will help you. I forgot. No, I'm okay. only going to have... See the jelly? So, unlike... She's looking at you. Unlike... Oh. Very, very the light. coconut that we're used to. This is like a jelly if you see this. And it is so sweet and so soft. You've never had coconut in your life like this. Thank you. Yes, beautiful. I'll give you one more. Mm. It is so good. Isn't she a cutie?